Okay, so I am really excited for this one because I found a new CC pack that I think you're really gonna like. And this one's special because it's actually a collab between like two of my favorite creators. Number one, Sixum CC, who's like one of my favorite CC creators. And number two, Spring Sims, who's like one of my very best friends. I will of course link all of their stuff down below, but the two of them collab to make a kitchen CC pack for The Sims 4. So it's like the stars have aligned for me, okay? My three favorite things, CC, Steven, <laughs> and kitchens. Well, that's a weird way to say this. Anyway, I'm just excited because my friends are doing cool things. And so of course I'm gonna show them to you. This is the Spring 6 Kitchen CC Pack and you can already see from this art that it's gonna be very cute. Even just in this one image, I can count like 12 things that I'm already obsessed with. This one kind of has some mid-century vibes and it also has a lot of bright colors. The clutter in this is also really exciting to me. Like this little plate with the toast. I don't know what it is about that, but it is speaking to me. Also just kind of obsessed with like the Smeg inspired appliances. The backsplash, like everything about this is absolutely my vibes. So I'm gonna download this and pop it into my game, but couple notes on the pack. It comes with a few functional appliances. The stove, the fridge, the built-in microwave, and the kettle are all functional. It also has a blender and a toaster that are not functional because we don't have blenders or toasters in The Sims 4, so they're just like decorative to put on your counter. So like I said, I'm gonna link this post to download this CC pack down below and also both Spring Sims and Six Sims CC. This one's out for public access, like anybody could download this now. It's not only on Patreon. So if you wanna grab it, feel free. I forgot to close my game. I need to so I can install the pack. <laughs> really easy to install mods in The Sims 4. You just want to unzip these and then drop all those files into your folder. Oh, I probably should have put them in a folder of their own. That'll just make it a little bit easier to organize. But once you've done that, it's installed, it's ready. As long as you have mods enabled in your game, it'll work. This video is not like a tutorial for how to install CC, but if you're looking for that kind of thing, there's loads of them on YouTube. I probably should make one, huh? Considering how often I get asked. Maybe I'll put that on my list. Okay, so I'm just loading into an empty lot here so that we can test out all this new stuff, starting out with a giant empty room. I think that kitchen custom content is probably my favorite, like out of all build custom content. And you know why? I think it's just because I spend a lot of time like thinking about kitchens in real life. Like in real houses, I love to look at like pictures of kitchens and renovated kitchens. I just think that kind of thing is fun. So then that sort of translates into The Sims. Oh my gosh, the pack is huge. Okay, where to begin? I think I'll start off with the different cabinets and counters because we have a lot of options. So we have this version that has like the brown side. This one has white sides. I assume they have like all the same swatches, just like different sides on them. Yeah, it looks like it. So you can kind of pick what your base is. We also have a black version. And then we have all those same things like the brown island, the black island, the white island. And then we have some inverted versions. Oh my God, wait, this is way more than I thought. <laughs> So we have the inverted versions as well. Like, so you have the option to have the cabinets on the front or the back, depending on what you need for your kitchen layout. That is so cool. Talk about like an extreme level of detail. Are you kidding? Cause you know how in real life, like usually you wouldn't have cabinets here because you'd be sitting here. All of the counters in The Sims have the cabinets there. Like in real life, especially in this kitchen layout, you'd probably have like the drawers on this side, like how these are. But there also are gonna be like some times where you might wanna have the cabinets on the other side. It's so cool cool to have the option to flip them. I've never seen that. Okay, so as far as swatches go, by the way, I love these bar stools. They're very simple. They're really cute. We've got a ton of options, lots of different wood colors and lots of different bright colors. That's kind of the vibe of this whole set is like these sort of fun, bright, like mid-century colors. So we have two different wood swatches and then we also have black and white with loads of different color options for each of those seats. The cabinets themselves also have loads of options. We have like a whole bunch of different fronts with black countertops and again, like a million different swatches. Same thing, but with white countertops. And then also same thing with gray countertops. And then keep in mind that comes all with like black sides or brown sides. You can really customize like anything you want with these counters. I love those pink ones. I'm really, really drawn to pink things. I know you probably know this, but the yellow is also very cute. Yellow is Steven's favorite color. So perhaps we should use the yellow ones just to embrace it, to embrace the inspiration. There's also matching upper cabinets. Oh my God, ton of swatches. Cause it's gotta have like all the different sides and stuff, oh my gosh. And the fun part is there's like lots of different pieces to these cabinets as well. Here's the thing about cabinets in The Sims, right? It might look like it's just one piece, like it's just one item, but really this cabinet is like a lot of different 
smaller pieces all combined. Like this one cabinet is actually seven different cabinets because those are all different pieces. Same thing goes with the counters. This one counter is actually six different counters because you have the end piece, then you have the corner piece, then you have the regular one, then you have the other corner piece, then you have the other end piece. And so that one counter is actually a lot of different pieces. That's part of why the Sims team doesn't make a lot of kitchen sets or sometimes they'll like not do upper cabinets. I think like in Island Living how we got just like the base counters. They gave us both of these pieces, but we didn't have like matching cabinets. They just did a couple different matching shelves instead. Realm of Magic also did not come with matching upper cabinets. That's very annoying because there's nothing that matches this, but I, I think it's because like that one upper cabinet is like actually seven items. So they're doing it to like save money on time and resources basically. Not saying I agree, but that's why. Kitchens are like a lot harder to make than they seem. Okay, so those are all the cabinet pieces. I'm sorry I've like put them on the wall like this. It looks terrible. <laughs> That's not how they're intended to be used. But the cool thing about this set is it also comes with these sink pieces. And I was really intrigued by this because it gives you like a double wide sink that you can center in between two tiles. I've always wanted this kind of thing because sometimes you're trying to like center sinks in between two tiles, but you can't. Cause normally your options for this, right? Are to have like one tile in the middle of them. But like, but then look, this is cutting it too close to the wall here. You have to like overlap some of the corner pieces and it just doesn't work right. So having these sinks centered on two tiles is great. I've never thought about doing it like this, but this is a really smart way. They've basically like made the sink into a wide counter piece and you have this huge double wide, like pretty realistic sink basin as well. I don't know. I just, I loved this concept. Very smart, I think. Let's do the other appliances next. So we have this amazing Smeg themed fridge. We've got the slide in range, the range hood, the built in microwave item, this dishwasher, another variant of the dishwasher that doesn't have a towel on it. This blender is actually fake. It's only decorative but it looks like a real blender and it matches the other appliances. And then we also have a couple variants of toaster with and without toast. Same thing, like matches the, the real other appliances. And we have this tea kettle. This one is actually functional. This will work like a regular tea kettle in game at drink quality four. That one, that one completely functions. So there's a ton of options and a ton of super cute different colors like the pink. Of these things, like they're all super cute. I love the dishwasher. I love having an option with and without the dish towel as well. That's super cute. But this, the microwave is really intriguing to me. I've never seen it done like this. And I really like the idea of doing it because you know, in real life, people will have like built in like wall ovens and wall microwaves and stuff, but you can't really do that in the Sims because microwaves just have to sit on a counter. It's the only way to place them is to have them sitting on a counter. Anyway, I just love this. Like all of the appliances are so smart and it's so fun to have like the little extra decorative things. Also this range hood, super useful. I always kind of dislike the range hoods that we have in the base game. Here, I'll show you. Like for example, this one's kind of the same vibe where it's like a wall vent. But it's just like way bigger and, and not as like modern in style. This one is way more realistic to the kind of thing you'd see in real life. And we don't really have a lot that are shaped like that. Like this one's shaped like that, but that is not modern. And to an extent, like this one is kind of, but not really. And that's actually a light and it's too big. Like this is, this is a great addition to the game, this vent hood. We also have some new lights. It's the same light, but like in different sizes. I love this style of light. I think these are so pretty. Someone I follow on Twitter just bought a light like this that costs like $800 dollars in real life. Luckily in the Sims, it's only 85, but they're really pretty. Like, I think it's really cool. I always want more pendant lights. And this is the kind of thing, I think I might buy something like this in real life. I've been spending a lot of time thinking about lights in real life recently, because I've been buying lights for my new house. Like I had to buy kitchen pendants. So I, I have like this newfound interest in lights in the Sims. I think like the two orb kind of vibe to it is kind of interesting. It just, it's cozy. It's cute. I like it. The metal's kind of fun. The colors are fun. 10 out of 10. Okay. But the best part and my favorite part of any CC pack is always, the clutter. And this one has a lot of it. I already showed you the, the two fake appliances. Adorable, iconic, we love them. But we also have some new plants. We have some really teeny tiny little itty bitty plants as well. Like this little tiny item is so cute. It's also only 10 simoleons. So if you're like playing on a budget, very useful item to have. This one is pretty cute as well, this little pink flower. It's in like a really cute pot. Like it's kind of got a handle on it. And this one is adorable. I love the stand. It's a nice simple fern. We need more things like this in the game too, like in the vanilla game. These are really nice, simple, easy to put everywhere kind of plants. We also have some artwork. There's a couple variants. This one goes on the wall and this one leans up against the wall. They have a lot of different styles on the inside too. Look how cute those color schemes are. I like that one a lot. And then this one has the same thing obviously, but it's just leaning. We've got a bottle of olive oil. That is a really, really useful item. And it comes in a few different swatches that are like sort of different oils, it seems like. If you can see that, there's like different options. I just love how that looks. I feel like we always need more stuff 
like that, we're kind of missing like a lot of basic kitchen clutter in The Sims 4. I mean, even like having access to some more plates like this is actually a huge deal because we don't really have a lot of stuff like that. And that's so normal. Like everybody has plates in their kitchen, but we only have like one set of plates from Snowy Escape. So it's really nice to get more options like this. So we have these plain empty plates in a couple different cute colors, but there's also a version that comes with toast. This, I love this. This is really speaking to me and it matches the plates, like the big ones. I don't know. I just, I love this. It's a small thing, but I don't really have a lot of stuff like that. And also it's super cheap. It's just 20 simoleons. So like if you're going to try and decorate a house on a budget, like that's a useful one. There's also some kind of cool cups right here. I think those have the same swatches as the plates. Yeah, pretty much. There's a little cake stand. The different swatches have different colored frosting. I like the pink one best. I don't know. I just, this is super useful kitchen clutter. I think of this whole pack, my favorite items are probably the toaster and the blender just because they're kind of cute. Like I love the toaster that has toast coming out of it. But honestly, all the clutter is awesome. And the appliances are really, really fun for me. Like don't get me wrong. I love the counters. They're adorable, but I just, I just love any kind of new appliance in the Sims. And honestly, like, I know it's a weird thing to be like swooning over a stove, but like this stove and this fridge and also especially this, the microwave, those are so cool. Like I really, really love this idea of having the built-in. So honestly, like top tier CC pack. I think the next thing I want to do is build something with it. We've got a couple different wallpapers to choose from as well. They're kind of like a few different variants of tile. This one's sort of like a terrazzo vibe. I love the look of terrazzo, so I, I'm really into that one. This one's a bit more of like a rustic stone look. And then we have this like more geometric pattern. I think this is cool because they're really huge tiles. Like the tiles are very large and they're also like exactly the size of the counter pieces. So it just looks nice as a backsplash. I'm not sure what I want to use yet. I need to think about it more. I think I like the white counters best, but maybe I'll try and use like a darker, like maybe the green with the black countertop. That could be cool. I think I want it to be a small kitchen. Oh, do you know what I'll do actually? Hang on, duh. Let's use the ones that have the green on the other side. Like the cabinet should be on this side, right? All right, what's the accent color though? Like what are, what are we doing? What are we going for? <laughs> I'm not sure. I kind of like that yellow with the green. Mm, I'm gonna make the kitchen bigger. I'm sorry. I have to. Look, this is purely because I want to use the fancy appliances, so I need to have enough space for them, okay? Oh, I didn't know we had that swatch. Wait, ooh, that blue color looks cool. <laughs> I don't know what I want to use though. There's too many options. Okay, let's get the fancy stove there. I'm thinking I might put the fridge over here. Uh, what color am I using? Okay, that's correct. Maybe it would be better, hang on, I'm trying to think like where the best spot to put all these things is. Does that make more sense to have the kitchen cabinet it's like this. But then where does the oven go? Because isn't the oven weird like that? Does it go there? Maybe it goes there. I don't know where to put a dishwasher. Oh, wait, duh, hang on. You put it in the kitchen island. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of far away from the sink, which is my bad, but like it's the sim, so it doesn't matter. That is not a good mindset to have, but that's the mindset that I do have, so. <laughs> It's fine. Okay, I put a couple of cabinets up there. I think I'm gonna leave no cabinets above the sink. Maybe I'll get like a really big window instead. That looks so nice. The question is, what wallpaper do I use? I think I like the terrazzo the best. It's just so pretty. <laughs> like I daydream about this kind of thing in real life. I don't know what color to use. I wanna get like terrazzo countertops in real life. Not like actual ones, but like they, like a speckled kind of quartz. Something like this. I think this is really pretty. Anyway, you don't care about this. <laughs> you care about the Sims. Maybe Maybe I will use like a fun backsplash though. I don't know. I kind of like the black is the thing. And then what if we put like some yellow accents in the rest of the room? Okay, cake. Oh, I want to do two different pendants up here. Hey, Josh, move objects on. Okay, I like that. Maybe some sort of wood flooring. And we can just get a couple different art pieces. I'm just trying to like make sure I use all of the clutter options. <laughs> I know that's kind of silly, but we have all of these different options. So we may as well use all of them, right? <gasps> There's slots on top of the fridge? Oh my God, day is made. All right, I'm also gonna put like some toast at one of the seats, like somebody's eating it. Do you know what? This little tiny item is like perfect for shelves. I don't have any like empty open shelving in this room, but I mean, all of these things are good for filling up open shelves, but this little tiny plant, great filler piece on the shelving. <gasps> They line up so perfectly together. Oh, that's great. I might put the toaster like next to the sink there because it fits so well. Although I'm probably gonna use the one that has the toast in it. 
because I like that one best. I'm having so much fun right now. I just love kitchen clutter. Something about it really speaks to me. I like this pack. I hope that you like it too. Again, I'll have that download link down below. I'm also going to have Spring Sims channel link down below. He's a YouTuber and a Twitch streamer and a very good friend of mine. And of course, I'll have 6MCC link down below because they're the one who made the pack. So you can go check out their Twitter and follow them. Check out their Patreon, all their other CC. And if you like CC related videos in The Sims, I've done a bunch so I can link a couple at the end of this video for you. And I guess with that being said, I'll catch you all tomorrow. Bye everybody. No, I'm serious. I needed this. My favorite sim just died like mere minutes ago. So I had to turn to custom content to find some joy. I hope you understand.